Hello and welcome to another edition of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. I'm your host, Chris Green, Director of Network Expansion for Avoya Travel, and we very much appreciate your time for tuning into our broadcast today. The return of cruising out of the United States continues to pick up steam. We'll have the latest in our eye on the industry feature. We have a great guest today for our Meet the Team segment. Nicholas Renault, Senior Manager of Promotions for Avoya Travel, will be joining us for a great discussion on this exceptional resource offered to the members of the Avoya Travel Network. We'll also discuss the various programs and promotions that are available for you to join Avoya Travel and become a member of the Avoya Travel Network, while of course making sure you have all the ways to reach out, and we sure hope you do, because that remains our top priority with this program, On Deck with Avoya, to engage with you, either the experienced travel professional or the entrepreneur that has the desire to get into the travel industry and build a business. We want to show off our best-in-class resources like technology, support, professional development, marketing, partnerships, and so much more. So reach out on our website at avoyanetwork.com, put in your request, we'll match you up with one of our amazing network expansion specialists for a full overview of our award-winning program. So let's kick off this week's program of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update with a few industry insights and our eye on the industry segment. Sadly, we start with heartbreaking news that happened this week for the travel agent community. Bob Duglin, who was asked as Vice President, International Membership and Host Agencies and Managing Director, passed away on Sunday at his home in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Said ASTA President and CEO Zane Kirby in a remembrance, Bob sat on ASTA's senior staff for the past eight years and was a constant positive contributor to all ASTA initiatives. Always ready to help, Bob rolled up his sleeve during the pandemic his sudden passing leaves a huge hole in Asta's heart. We'll miss you, brother. Speaking for myself and others here at Avoya Travel, we offer condolences to Bob's family, his colleagues, friends, and all who knew him. He was a great ambassador for the travel agent community and a wonderful person to call friend. In other travel news, Royal Caribbean International became the first big ship cruise line to embark on a return to Alaska Monday as the Serenade of the Seas pulled out of port in Seattle, Washington, marking the first Alaska sailing with paid passengers in 21 months. The seven-day round-trip sailing will call on Alaskan ports of Sitka, Icy Strait Point, Juneau, and Ketchikan. The cruise was filled with great fanfare, much like the June 26th sailing of the Celebrity Edge out of Florida, and the mood on board the ship has been reported as joyous and celebratory. While the Serenade of the Seas is no stranger to Alaskan waters, this is the first time it sailed in and out of Seattle, as it normally home ports in Vancouver, Canada, which of course has closed off the cruise industry until November of this year. All in all, the shortened Alaska cruise season is expected to see nine large cruise ships across multiple brands, sailing a total of 78 sailings that stretch into October. The CDC won a big court fight this week, but Florida's governor says the battle is far from over and vows to go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. The U.S. 11th Circuit Court of Appeals last weekend ruled in favor of the CDC's position in its ongoing legal battle with the state of Florida over the agency's right to impose COVID-19 regulations on the cruise ship industry. The decision stays a previously June 19th injunction order against the CDC, which would have prevented the public health agency from enforcing its conditional sale order in Florida. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis vowed to fight on at a press conference last Monday. He's quoted as saying, so I'm confident that we'd win on the merits at the full 11th circuit. And honestly, I'm confident we'd win at the Supreme Court. We'll continue to follow this story as we know it's vital for you and your clients and we'll provide more updates as they become available. And finally, some news and notes from the travel world this week. Disney Cruise Line is looking to base a cruise ship in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, year-round. A cruise line spokesperson confirmed that Disney is in discussions with Port Everglades. The ship would be a 3,500-passenger ship, but it was not revealed if it was a current Disney ship or a new build that is currently under construction. Canada is just about ready to welcome back vaccinated Americans, but the United States is not reciprocal in those feelings. The U.S.-Canada border has been closed for non-essential travel since March of 2020. Canada announced this week that starting August 9th, fully vaccinated Americans can once again travel to Canada for leisure and non-essential travel. And in a bit of a surprise move, the United States announced it would actually keep the border closed in the opposite direction for Canadians until at least August 21st. Congratulations to our friends at Region 7 Seas and everybody who made bookings. 
Their 2024 World Cruise went on sale this week and sold out in an amazing three hours. The five-month journey on the Seven Seas Mariner is scheduled to depart Miami on January 26, 2024. Yeah, 2024, and it sold out in three hours. Avoya Travel has an amazing relationship with Region Seven Seas, and several of the affiliates in the Avoya Travel Network made sales for this voyage. Now, keep in mind, the price point started at around $79,000 per passenger. So if your host or partner doesn't have the resources to help you capture those kind of sales, you should reach out and start the conversation to find out why Avoya Travel is the number one host agency in the United States year after year. As we move forward with this week's edition of On Deck with Avoya, it's time for a return of my favorite segment, where I get to introduce you to amazing members of the Avoya Travel team and our Meet the Team segment. Last week, we mixed it up a bit with our first ever Meet the Industry feature, and it was a great hit. So we have more of those lined up for you very soon, including next week's live special edition from Cruise 360 here on On Deck with Avoya. This week, our featured Meet the Team guest is Nicholas Renault, Senior Manager of Promotions for Avoya Travel. And Nick will be joining us here in just a second for a great overview of this high-level resource offered exclusively to the members of the Avoya Travel Network. Let's face it, resources make the difference. And they're the backbone of Avoya Travel's shared success relationship it has with the members of the Avoya Travel Network. Those best-in-class resources help our affiliates sell more travel, make more from selling travel, help them retain current clients and create higher levels of repeat business. And at the end of today's broadcast, we hope you hear enough to make you want to find out more and have a deeper discussion with a network expansion specialist. But first, let's welcome our special guest today, Nicholas Renault, Senior Manager of Promotions for Avoya Travel. Nick, welcome to On Deck with Avoya, and we really appreciate your time today. Thanks a lot, Chris. I'm really excited to be here. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, Nick, before we get into your role as Senior Manager of Promotions, we want to find out a bit more about yourself. Could you give us a quick overview about how you got into the travel industry and ended up working for Avoya Travel? Yeah, absolutely. So I was looking for a job shortly after I had graduated college and Avoya was hiring in the promotions department. Um, and my actually degree is in English as a writer. So they were actually looking for someone to help write the promotions and write with the terms and conditions. So it really just kind of happened to be sort of a, a perfect fit. Um, and that was you know, how I got into the industry and uh, never, never looked back after that. That's definitely a win-win, right? Absolutely. Yeah. They, uh, they were excited to find out. I'm one of the only people in Avoy that actually has a degree in English. So it's really kind of worked out mutually over the last several years. Before you got into the travel industry, Nick, what did vacations and travel look like for you as a younger person? Did you get a chance to travel much? Yeah, so we definitely went on family vacations when I was a kid. Uh, my parents are not big on international travel, so we definitely never left the country, uh, but did things, you know, like going to Disney World, um, you know, out in Florida. We lived in Anaheim for a while, so spent a lot of time going to Disneyland as well. Um, the occasional road trip, stuff like that. So always kind of sort of domestic U.S. travel. I remember one time we went to Hawaii, which is definitely one of my most exciting, you know, vacations as a kid. But we always kept it, you know, pretty close to home when we were growing up. Still some great adventures, though. Yeah. Nicholas Renault, Senior Manager of Promotions for Avoya Travel, is our featured guest today. Nick, we had your cohort, Brandon Gotti, on the program several months back. But for a refresher, could you give me an overview of Avoya's promotion department and what some of its goals are in relationship to the Avoya Travel Network and specifically how your role as Senior Manager of Promotions fits into all of that? Yeah, absolutely. So we know that the promotions world is extremely complicated in the travel industry. And so really our department exists to take kind of the complicated part of promotions out of it to really make sure that we're getting those promotions in front of the Avoya network um, and then really making it nice and clear. So they're not always having to have a lawyer next to them when they're trying to sell a cruise to somebody. Um, and then we're also there for support. So if you have any confusion on the terms and conditions or questions on how they combine with each other, that's really what my department is there for. Uh, we have other things like the Avoya Smart Value System, where we really try to show the value of these promotions uh, to clients through our quoting system. Um, and so a lot of what I do is kind of out there making sure we're, we're editing the promotions in a way and formatting them in a way that, uh, that the independent agencies in the Avoya Network can understand. And then I'm also helping run the Avoya Smart Value System to make sure that we're really getting all that value out there in the quotes to clients. So really just there to kind of support the agencies and provide them with much information and resources we possibly can. 
And that smart value system, I mean, let me tell you, that thing is amazing. So congratulations to you, to you and the team that's behind that. And let me say to any potential affiliate that's watching this today, we're happy to get you a demonstration of our top level technology and show off exactly how that smart value system works. So reach out and start the conversation because once you get one look, I think you're gonna be absolutely blown away. Nick, I can only imagine how COVID-19 has impacted your department. I mean, considering the furious pace of change when COVID first started and now kind of the, the opposite, right? I mean, as we're starting to see things start to hopefully move in the right direction, Tell me about some of the things the promotions department did to help our affiliates during these unprecedented times. Sure, so one of the most important things um, that we did in our department was related to all the different policy changes that were out there. So a lot of these brands came up with their flexible cancellation policies, uh, their best rate guarantees, and they were just constantly changing as things evolved. So um, we spent a lot of effort um, throughout you know, most of 2020, really making sure that we were staying on top of those policies and communicating uh, the up-to-date resources to the independent agencies. So we we're always kind of going through and auditing the terms and finding out exactly kind of what changed and making sure that we were communicating that out to the independent agencies. And then of course, the other thing that was important was making sure that, that we were getting the promotions out there still. Um, because there was kind of a bit of a dearth of promotions for a while. So really making sure we're still getting exclusives out there, you know, that we're um, still having strong marketing so that clients know that we do have really good advantages in the marketplace if you book with Avoya Travel. So, and then as things are starting to ramp back up, of course, we're starting to see, uh, you know, the marketing coming back from the cruise industry. So again, now it's really trying to kind of keep up with that. And, and we also developed a lot of uh, the resort promotions throughout that time, because that was one of the only things that was traveling. So as we kind of had to pivot our business strategy to get money in the pockets of independent agencies, we had to kind of learn a lot more about the resort world and make sure that we were getting those promotions out there because that was something that you could sell and get paid commission on um, almost immediately, which is still the case. And I mean, at one point, things were like, I would have to think from your standpoint that you'd, you'd write a promotion, you get things updated to where the current thing stood. And then by the time you're almost ready to release that, oh, here's another change. Yeah, absolutely. It felt like it was, you know, almost every other week. And, and we work with so many different supplier partners that it was almost kind of an ongoing auditing process of once we'd get through all, you know, 35 major suppliers, we'd have to start back at the beginning of the list and like, okay, let's see what's changed, you know, since we just made this update last week. So definitely kept us very, very busy um, trying to stay on top of all of that. Nick, when you get the opportunity to interact with the affiliates in the Avoya Travel Network, what kind of feedback do they give you on the importance of our promotions department as one of the best in class resources that we're proud to offer here at Avoya Travel? Sure, yeah, it's always really exciting, especially when we get to, to work with the independent agencies face-to-face, -face, interact with them at our, our various conferences and in-person events and things like that, because we really get to hear that positive feedback of how much easier we make it to understand promotions. Um, you know, the promotions department didn't exist 10 years ago and, and a lot of times, you know, independent agencies had to just weed through the promotions on their own. But now we have an entire department. We're uh, one of the only companies in the entire travel industry that has a department that's entirely dedicated to making it easier to understand promotions. And then again, providing that support. If you have questions, if you don't understand it, we're there answering support requests all throughout the day to make sure that we can help you close that sale and understand exactly what it is that you can offer to the client with that best deal, because always, you know, the best value that you can put forward is going to be one of the most important things. So we just, that's kind of the main thing we hear is that feedback is just how much easier we make it um, to figure out promotions. Because at the end of the day, trying to understand each vendor and how they speak is like trying to understand the difference between like Chinese and Korean and, and all the various languages that the people of the world speak. I mean, it'll just blow your mind if you had to go through one by one. Right, absolutely. And one of the main things that we actually do is we have kind of a standardized type of language across all vendors. So we interpret that language. Like you said, it is different languages across vendors and we make it standardized. So no matter kind of what you specialize in or what promotion you're looking at, you're seeing mostly the same language across the board. We're translating it for you. So you kind of just have to learn the way a Voya refers to these things. And then, you know, we kind of take that, that guesswork and that middleman part out. Uh, so you really just kind of have to read the same thing across uh, all promotions. Work smarter, not harder. Nick, one last question about your role as Senior Manager of Promotions for Avoya Travel before we pivot for a few questions about you, the person outside of work. 
But from your standpoint, do you get the sense that despite the challenges and difficulties that COVID-19 continues to present to the world at large, that we're kind of on the verge of a special time in leisure travel? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the, the pent up demand um, is very well documented, but I think that people's perspective has changed over the last year and a half of how important travel is and how much people love to vacation, you know, being cooped up in their homes for so long, they've really realized just how important it is to them to spend time with their friends and family to get out and see the world because, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. And I think that that's going to continue to drive demand for years to come. And we've also seen a lot of really impressive evolutions in the travel industry, the way that they adapted to what's been going on. And I think a lot of these are going to be important long-term improvements that are going to stay, you know, in the travel industry. And I think we're going to start to see more and more younger people coming into the cruise world. And, and the value is there now in cruise lines more than it's ever been. You're seeing different brands, um, you know, like Celebrity and Holland America, for example, that are really going to a more kind of all-inclusive type of cruise where you're just getting all of this value built into the cruise fare. And I think when people experience that, they're going to realize that you just can't find that kind of value in vacations anywhere else. And that's really the trend that we're seeing in the promotions world is, is just perks, 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 add as many amenities as possible um, to really give that value to the client so that they want to keep coming back and they see the value of their dollar going further. Just perfectly explained. Nicholas Renault, Senior Manager of Promotions for Avoya Travel, is our featured Meet the Team guest this week on On Deck with Avoya. Nick, you mentioned to me before our broadcast that many people are surprised to find out that you have a degree, and you kind of mentioned it, um, but you have the degrees in poetry, right? Tell me a little bit about that and where that passion for prose came from. Sure. Yeah. I, you know, I've always kind of had an affinity for language growing up, you know, was a good speller and things like that. But I remember when I was in high school, um, you know, you kind of do your different units in every class. And we did a poetry unit in our English class. And really, it was the first time that I ever wrote a poem. And I still have it saved somewhere. And it was it was awful. It's not a good <laughs> poem at all. And but I just I fell in love with with the English language and with poetry. And, and there's something about you know, how important every word and every, you know, period or comma is or every line break that was just so amazing to me that in such a small piece of literature, there's so much importance to it. And it's actually worked well for my job too, because in terms of conditions, I'm really good at, you know, they call me eagle eye because I'm really good at catching these, just these little things and, and figuring out ways to tweak the language to make it, you know, easy to understand. So, um, but yeah, I just fell in love with it and I never looked back. Now, I understand that you recently had one of those kind of life affirming type trips. Uh, tell me about your experience and adventure uh, at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so my girlfriend and I, we, uh, we kind of have a thing where we are kind of collecting experiences at national parks around the country. Um, and we go and we get like a pin when we go there. And so we have kind of our collection of that. And so we went and we camped uh, at the Grand Canyon. Uh, we didn't camp inside of it because that's a whole other intense level, but we can't just, you know, five minute walk from the rim basically. And I'd never been before. And it was one of those things where it just, the first time you see it, I mean, it just, it takes your breath away. And it's, it's something I've always heard that, you know, pictures don't do it justice. And I was like, yeah, but those pictures are pretty cool, but there's just something about when you see it in person, you know, and we, and we got to see all different parts of it. We did a helicopter tour um, over it. So it, and it's just like, it never got old, you know, we were there for a week. And every time you see it, every time you look at it from a different angle, it's just, it blows your mind, you know, and it really puts things into perspective. So it was just, it was, it was a very life changing uh, type of event for me. Any future trips on the wish list that you're hoping to knock off before too long? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the big things I want to do is I want to go to the mainland part of Europe. So I've been to the UK, um, but I really want to go to Italy to France, to Spain, you know, um, I, I love travel. I love other cultures. I love learning about other cultures and food. And, and I really want to do just, you know, kind of an epic two week trip out there, which I know is not even close to enough to see it, but I got to hit some of the main, the main things. And then kind of hopefully I'll go back over the years and, and explore more. But um, that's one of the biggest things that's on my list is to get out there and see some of those just famous historical cities um, and just kind of learn more about the world. Big sports fan, right? Yeah, absolutely. Die hard. All right. So let's talk serious stuff here. So football season's coming up soon. 
And I love to play fantasy football. I'm not that good at it, but I hear you're like the fantasy football guru. Uh, can I hit you up for like who to start, who to sit? Are you that kind of level fantasy football genius? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I actually have a lot of friends, you know, that are that are always kind of hitting me up, asking for starts and advice, who they should trade, who they should draft, things like that. I'll tell you, if you were in my league, I would not be giving you that advice. But, you know, <laughs> for my friends that I'm not playing against, you know, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that's one of the things I love about the fantasy football community is just uh, the sharing of knowledge. Everybody's just kind of guessing and hoping and it, it just makes the game so much more interesting. It sure does. Nick, one last question before we let you go. After being with Avoya Travel for several years, in your opinion, what makes the culture that surrounds Avoya Travel and the Avoya Travel Network just so special? Because for me, having been in our industry for 20 plus years, I find it unique and absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think uh, there's a couple things. The people is probably the biggest thing, um, you know, and there's just something also about kind of the top down culture that comes from the Andersons of being that kind of that family. Um, you know, that, that Avoya family extends to the employees, it extends to the independent agencies in the network, and even to our supplier partners, and you really get that feel, and that affects the people that are, are brought into Avoya, and so, you know, everybody that comes to Avoya, it just immediately is welcomed into that family, and that just grows that, that culture of inclusiveness and relationship building, um, and, you know, a lot of my, my best friends out in California, I met through Avoya, and that's just kind of the nature of the culture that we have at the company. Perfectly spoken again. Nicholas Renault, Senior Manager of Promotions for Avoya Travel. Nick, thank you for your time and that great conversation. We appreciate you uh, being our guest today on On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. That was a lot of fun. Next week, we have a very special episode of On Deck with Avoya, your weekly travel update, as we come to you live from Cruise 360. Now, we don't know who our special guest is going to be at this time, but seeing how it's the first major industry event since the COVID crisis started, we're sure to have someone special and worthy of your time, and that'll be next Thursday here on On Deck with Avoya. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things uh, really important, like starting your own business. We've recently reopened our program for those that are new to the travel industry. If you're an entrepreneur at heart, and you're looking to be your own boss and travel is the industry you're interested in, we have a program that can help take you from nothing to being incredibly successful if you're willing to put in your part of being part of a shared success relationship. So reach out to us, get the conversation started. We'll explain the whole process and hopefully soon you can be part of the number one host agency and the number one travel network out there, the Avoya Travel Network. And again, the network expansion specialists are more than happy to have that conversation. For those of you that are experienced in the industry, still two promotions active, one for the high-end professional, one still trying to get there. Reach out. We'll have the conversation. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what your sales have been like over the last several years. Of course, we know 2020 was kind of a wash for everybody, but we want to hear your story. We want to tell our story. We want to see if they meld together to create this shared success relationship. And of course, you can explore with complete flexibility and no long, long-term contract or exclusive agreement. Again, reach out for that conversation and get yourself qualified. And how do you reach out? Well, pretty simple, through the Avoya Network website, avoyanetwork.com. You can email me personally at chris.green at avoyatravel.com. There's our toll-free number on the screen. You can leave us a message here on the Facebook chat. If you're seeing this on YouTube, you can leave a comment we're more than happy to reach out and start that conversation because we've got a lot to offer, best in class resources. We'd love to tell you all about it, show you a demonstration of our top end technology and just see if it's a good fit. If it's a good fit, we'll just take it from there. If it's not, we wish each other a good day and go on about our business, right? That's all you can do. Thank you so much to Nick Renault, my special guest this week, the senior uh, manager of promotions for Avoya Travel. Big thank you to Marissa Smith, who does an amazing job producing our segment every single week. We appreciate your time. We can't wait to come to you live next week from Cruise 360 for that special edition. And until then, take care, everyone.